I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus here, and today I'm going to show you how to enable full screen gestures, which are also known as navigation gestures or navigation bar gestures. Now we've seen this trend in the smartphone space for a couple of years now, where more and more companies are adding in their own version of gesture support for their devices, whether this is Apple or Google or Xiaomi, a lot of OEMs are now including a way to get rid of the navigation bar down here at the bottom. This allows for a more immersive experience while you're inside the application. And for some people, it's just an entirely new experience to have your entire application or an entire web page take up the entire screen from top to bottom, especially with these smaller bezels that smartphones are having these days. So to enable this feature on the Samsung Galaxy S10, the S10 Plus, and the S10e, we first need to just go into the settings application, and then we're going to tap on the display option. Now while we are here, we just want to scroll down a little bit until you get to the section with the navigation bar option. So we can go ahead and go here. Now a lot of people will go here to change the navigation button order so that the back button is on the left side and the recents button or overview button is on the right side. Samsung defaultly has it this way, but this is an easy way to switch them back to normal for a lot of people. But you can also see here that we have a navigation type section. And by default, we're set to the navigation buttons because that's just easier for most, for most people. A lot of people don't want to learn full screen gestures. But if we just tap on the full screen gestures option, and you can see the navigation bar has been replaced by the three dashes and the animation shows you how to activate these full screen gestures. So when you swipe up on this left bar, it will initiate a back button. If you swipe up from the middle bar, it will initiate the home button. And if you swipe up from the right bar, it will initiate the recents button. Now if we have it this way, if we change the button order, then the back and recents change. But no matter how you have it set, the buttons are still there, but they're just accessed in a different way. So if we want to leave the settings application, all we gotta do is swipe up from the bottom. And you can see that bar will actually lift up whenever I swipe it up. I can go to recents, go back home, go to recents, go back, open up an application, go back. You can see it works just like the navigation bar works as far as you tapping a button, but instead of tapping a button, instead we are swiping up from the bottom of the screen. So that's it. It's very easy to access, very easy to enable. And for those of you who are wanting a easy way to enable navigation gestures on your Samsung Galaxy S10, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, or the Samsung Galaxy S10e, now you're able to do it by simply digging through the settings application.